Hey everyone, and welcome to call number four in the new consultants training webinars for the Southern Romantics team. Tonight we are talking about speeches, games, and discounts. I have Sheila and Christy with me this evening, and I am on a completely different computer than usual, so hopefully no freezing. Yay! <laughs> we'll see how well that goes. So, speeches, games, and discounts, we're going to talk about the importance of making a good first impression. Your story, your I story that you're going to tell at your parties is the foreplay, and it makes a good connection with your customers so that they feel comfortable and trust you. So if you haven't already worked on your I story, I have a worksheet for you guys that you can do. Um, connection and trust, you need to remember the cornerstones, cornerstones of your future business. Your story makes you relatable to your customers, um, and it's going to show them that anybody could do this. Um, and also, you are someone that they should give all their money to. So if you're noticing that your party sales or your bookings or your recruiting is lower, think about your I story and think about your first impression that you're making. Are you like, oh my God, I'm perfect in every way, shape and form and blah, 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 blah. Because if you seem like unattainable, people might not respond to that and they might be like, oh, well, you obviously have to be like perfectly polished to do this job. And we all know that that is not true. Um, because we can all be hot messes and that's what makes us awesome. So um, I want to talk, I'm going to share my screen with you guys. And again, I apologize if there's a couple of hiccups on this learning a new computer. It's the same exact system. It's just the hands on these keys are weird. Um, so we're going to talk about your opening speech. Do, 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 do. And I have this in a, I think it's in a Word document for you guys. Maybe. Let me see if this actually open. That's closing speech, opening speech. Three point one. I will find it. Let's see if I click on it over here if my computer remembers that I do have it open. Okay. Give me a second. What if we try it again? It's not pulling up my Adobe files. Oh, here we go. There it is. Hi. There it is. There it is. Technology. All right. So writing your pure romance story. This is just literally a worksheet. So it's going to help you fill in the blank of what a good opening speech is. And remember, opening speeches, they don't have to be long. If you're sitting there for 20 minutes telling people how terrible your life was before pure romance and how now it's fantastic. If you're talking about yourself for 20 minutes, they are done. So your opening speech and key points should be no more than five minutes. Because again, you want to make sure your party presentation is no longer than an hour and 15 minutes. So if you spend all this time talking about yourself and setting up the party, it's going to be like half over before you guys even get to the first product. So as you're considering and creating your story, consider your why. What is your purpose in owning your business? How do you hope to change your life or others' lives for the better? Give the details to make your story even more compelling and memorable and write out your why in complete sentences. So as, if you haven't identified your why yet, um, think about it. Like on the worst days when like you had a, a $50 party and you know, you have like three more parties with the same group and it's just like, and it's gross out and you don't want to leave the house and your pajamas are so comfortable. Like what is going to make you get out of bed and leave the house and go give it another shot when you have cancellation after cancellation? What is going to keep you motivated? Um, and that's your why. So your driving force and it can change. So if it's like your kids, that's awesome. If it's your cats, that's awesome. If it's your bills or your water bill, like, yes. Let's do it. <laughs> so think about what your why is. And if you don't know where to start, there is a great book somewhere on my bookshelf. Let's see if I can find it real quick. No, I think we went out, but it's by Simon Sinek and it's called Finding Your Why. Um, or it all starts with why. Something like that, but it's awesome. And it's a great book. So if you haven't figured out why the hell you're in this business, that's a great place to start. Um, so let's continue talking about creating your story. Do, 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 do. 
Yes. So the best part about being a consultant is that I've been able to help so many women learn more about their bodies and their desires. It's such a fulfilling way to spend my time. Sometimes I can't even believe I get paid to do this. What I love most about this job is that I never, ever, ever have to miss the most important, important moments in my kids' lives, and I don't have to deprive them of anything either. Like, that's huge for moms. Um, I'm not a mom, but I remember as a kid when my mom would, like, come to assemblies and stuff, it was a big deal. Um, but then, she, you know, she worked. So it's, sometimes it's hard if you want to stay home with your kids and if you want to be a room mom or whatever. This is a great opportunity, and you guys know on our team, we have a lot of women that are mothers, and they get to be an active participant in their child's lives now because of this. Um, this reminds you a little bit of that uh, building a story that we all learned in like fifth and sixth grade. So set up conflict, climax, and resolution. Um, it's kind of like the female sexual response cycle. Imagine that. <laughs> so think of your pure romance journey, how you started your business, how you got to where you are today, which of your experience lines up with each of those four parts of the story, and just kind of start writing out your personal pure romance tale in complete sentences. And we can call it down. So this is like a creative writing exercise, and then we're going to edit it and cut it all the way down. So it's a quick five minutes um, before pure romance, and that's a great way to kind of set it up. You'll see at the bottom where it says, I used to work in nonprofit. And I never made any money. So I started selling pure romance and now I can afford vacations. There you go. That is a super easy thing. I used to miss all my kids dance recitals and they hated me. So I joined pure romance and now I teach the dance class. Right? <laughs> it could be anything. This is a good example. I used to be a nurse and the long hours didn't allow me to spend time with my children. So I started my business with pre romance and now I choose what hours I work. So boom, you'll be able to write those down and you can include some additional details. Other ways your life has changed, um, side benefits like the research, hey, <laughs> or another conflict, something like a bump that you hit on the way to becoming a great consultant. And even if you're new, that's fine. You don't have to be like, oh my God, before pure romance, I had nothing. And I'm only three weeks in, so I still have nothing. Like just say, but I see the opportunities that are available to me and I'm inspired by the women who have really used this to change their life. So even if it's, you haven't hit your goal yet, you're well on your way. You've already taken the first step. Um, and then of course, wrap it up, put a cute little bow on it, do a little happily ever after dance and plant a seed. I'm going to yawn a couple times tonight. It's not you, it's me. So if you relate to what I've said, please talk to me in the shopping room at the end of the evening. I can give you more information about how you can do what I do. So that's just a perfect example of planting a passive little seed of like, oh my God, I'm a mother. And oh my God, I don't get to see my kids. Oh my God, she can sell sex toys and still see her kids. And oh my God, I should probably sell sex toys so I can see my kids. So giving them an opportunity to kind of reflect that back on themselves and be like, oh my God, if she can do this, I can do this too. Because you can, which is awesome. Which is why this job is freaking awesome. So after you've written it, read it out loud a couple times, practice it in front of friends, figure out what can be cut, and then just make it sound natural. So it's really about practicing. It's just like rehearsing. So you've just written a little script, a little monologue. You're just going to memorize it and you're going to start saying it at your parties. And then as things change, you can add details in, you can cut out details, you can be like, and I just won a free trip to Cancun. Ah! You know, whatever, whatever you think is gonna add a little extra like oomph to your story. But again, don't go overboard, it doesn't need to be long. Um, making a good impression is much more important than them knowing every single detail about your life. Because honestly, y'all, they don't care what you have for breakfast, they're just wanting to buy their stuff and go home to use it, so. We want to make sure we're taking good care of them. All right, so that is a little bit more about your opening speech. Let's talk, let me make sure I covered all my things. So make sure when you're talking about, and that's your story. Also, when you're setting up the party, you want to make sure you're covering about the hostess benefits. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Sheila, for having us in your house. Did you know that when you are a hostess with Pure Romance by Megan, you get a free shopping spree, you get free gifts, you get VIP status, and you get blah, 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 whatever else you give. I have a lifetime discount because that helps build um, consistency and people come back to me and customer loyalty. So they know that if they host a party with me, anytime they run out of coochie, anytime they run out of anything, anytime there's a new toy, they're never gonna pay full price. And I'm okay losing 
10%, even on a spotlight collection toy, because I still got that order, right? So you can't, you can't trip over pennies. Um, during your opening speech, you might want to talk about a booking incentive, especially if like um, this host is booked during the booking blitz and you offered some great incentive. And you were like, did you guys know that Sheila booked this party with me when we were having a huge company-wide booking blitz? And because she decided to host her party in May, she's getting, ah! and then you tell everybody what it is and you build it up. And she was like, oh my God, I didn't even know that I'm going to get that. And she's so jacked up and her friends are like, oh, we call it the that bitch effect, right? When everyone, it's just that little bit of jealousy. So Christy's sitting there like, oh my God, Sheila was getting all that stuff just for hosting a party. I would like all that stuff and uh, we haven't even started yet. So kind of building the expectation of you can get this too. And so not only are you planting seeds about joining the team, you're planting seeds about booking a party. Um, and then you could be like, and did you know that if you book a party at Sheila's party, not only are you going to get this great thing, but you're also going to help Sheila out because she's going to get a referral credit. So Sheila, wouldn't you want even more money to spend at Christie's Pure Romance party? Of course she would, right? Unless she's a troglodyte and does not like free stuff, which chances are she probably never would come to one of our shows. Um, I always try to explain the dynamics of the show. Your left, we say your left is your liquor because that's the one that makes the L. I don't know which way it's right for you guys. That's an L to me now, but that's probably how it looks like to you. So anything that goes on your left hand is edible. Anything that goes on your right hand is sniffable. You can always sniff your liquor, but don't lick your sniffer. Um, how to make a wish list, the importance of making a wish list. And during the party, I always say, oh, did you guys write that down? Oh my God, you need to write it down. Um, how we're gonna order in private, how there's no men, no children, everybody needs to be 18. So just kind of basic dynamics. We start with the mild, we work our way into the wild. Um, and then again, all that condensed in like a five minute little section, boom. And then we get our party started. So then you're doing your party and it's awesome and you're killing it and you're dropping more hints and you're planting more seeds and you're like, anytime you mess up, you're like, oh my God, I'm just getting so excited. My mouth is working faster than my brain. I just can't even. That's what I love about this job is you don't have to be perfect at it. You guys know that because you see me on these damn webinars and you're like, Megan's an idiot sometimes, but hey, I still get paid. Um, so now we've wrap, we're wrapping up the party. We're going to put a happy little bow on it and we're going to talk about your closing speech. So when you're talking about your closing speech, again, no more than five minutes because it's just a cute little end cap. Remind them of a lot of stuff that you already told them because if they've been drinking, you know, repetition is a good thing. So recap your party sales and discounts. So if you're like, and don't forget tonight, I'm doing the Hot Hearts 2 for 28 and the Come Clean 10% off for the Toy Lube Cleaner package. Um, especially if you mention it and they're like, oh yeah, so you know, make sure you have all three written on your wish list. Yay. Get your customer connection cards before you get into the ordering room. I do this because I, I do like a game where I give people tickets and that's the final thing that they can earn a ticket for. I have them fill out the backside of the customer connection card and I tell them, hold it up when you're done. And when I grab it, I'm going to grab, give you another ticket into our big drawing. And they're like, ah, I want more tickets. Women will do anything for a little tiny ticket. It's crazy. And all I give away are foil packs and people are like, ah. They'll have like 20 tickets that they're just fighting for this one little foil pack. I'm like, that's cool. So collect your customer connection cards. That ensures that if like Susie has to go tuck in her kids or she can't really buy anything, you still have her information so you can follow up. If she takes it with her, you're never going to hear from her again. She's not going to call you. So you got to call and be like, oh my God, Susie, I'm so sorry you had to leave so early last night. Um, I know you, I saw you writing down this crazy wish list. What can I get you to help out Sheila's party before it closes? And she's like, Oh my God, I hate that I had to leave early. Blah, blah, blah. So it's a potential missed sale if you don't know how to find them. Um, explain the order forms. So I don't give order forms during the party. I keep those in the ordering room just because I think that they can get confusing and messy and I'm kind of a neat freak. So I explained to them, um, we've got our flat rate shipping. I call it a handling or a processing fee because I already prepaid the shipping since I carry inventory um, and then include sales tax. So especially if I'm traveling to another county where the sales tax is different, I'll be like, what's the sales tax in this, in this county? Y'all, I don't even know what the sales tax is over here. And they'll be like, it's 8%. I'm like, good. I'm going to save you some money because we're going to base it off of my sales tax. So base it off of the sales tax where you, the county in which you live or the city in which you live, because that's where your 
shipment comes to and that's where you get charged on tax. So I hope that makes sense. So let them know there is shipping and tax included in their order, no matter how much or how little they leave with that night, what forms of payment you include. So cash, check, credit card. If you don't accept checks, let them know. Um, pretty much if they have checks, they probably have a debit card. So even though you make more money off a check and you get a swipe fee, um, when you have checks bounced, they're a lot more expensive. So just keep that in mind. Explain the individual private ordering in the shopping room, just in case they're like, ah, and they'll be like, well, we don't really care, but you need it for that one-on-one -on -one attention. I need it. So if I'm doing math, I can focus on them. I want to make sure I'm giving them the best thing. Even I hate it when girls come in two at a time. It drives me crazy because then they're both trying to order at the same time and I can only give my attention to one person. So explain to them, you know, this is all completely confidential. I want to give you my one-on-one -on -one undivided attention. I can't wait to see you in my private ordering room. Um, all that kind of fun stuff. And then don't forget to thank your hostess. Always thank your hostess profusely at least like 20,000 times during the party because she opened up her home. She probably made food. She probably bought some wine. She got all her friends there. They're all going to spend money. Um, they're all going to get her free stuff. Recap the hostess benefits. Let her know. Remind her and her guests all the free stuff she's getting and give it. Don't just be like you get a 10% shopping spree because 10% doesn't sound like a lot. Um, so after a few parties, when you can kind of see what your average sales are, then you'd be like, most of my hostesses get between 75 and $150 in free product or, you know, between 50 and a hundred dollars in free product, whatever it is for you, give it a range. Cause if they're looking at their wish list and they're like, well, I really want that, uh, main attraction. It's 179 and most of her hostesses get at least a hundred dollars off. I could pay $79 for that toy. Hmm. Right. So it's going to, they're going to look at their wish list and they're going to see that they're going to remember that number value and see how much free stuff they can get. Um, so that's a little bit more about the closing speech. I'm going to show you cause yeah, I totally have a closing speech outline for you guys. Closing speech. This is just in a word document. So, okay. This is very different on this computer than it is on mine. Um, so this gives you a good little outline. And again, I would encourage you to write it down. Come up with a script that's going to work for you where it sounds natural coming out of your face. Hold on, let's go back up. So thank you. Customer connection cards, overview of the shopping room, one-on-one. -on -one. Tell them where the shopping room is. So I always try to like be somewhere obvious, maybe close to a door, first bedroom on the right, whatever it's going to be. I'd rather be close to the door so I can just get in and out quickly. When they put me in like the back, upstairs, way in the back, I'm like, oh my God, I have to drag my stuff. But, you know, I'll go wherever. I do in my hostess coaching, I tell them, you know, a private room close to the front door would be great. But if that way they don't look like they don't leave because they can't find you, especially if you do a party in a really big house with a lot of doors. If they don't know where you are, they're just going to leave. Um, your business details, again, your name, how they can find you, make sure they have your business card or your pen, payment methods, shipping and handling, open order policy. So if you have any back orders, when they're going to be shipped, I just state 10 up to 10 business days. So you should get all of your products within 10 business days. If there's any back ordered items, you should expect them within 10 business days. Cause you know, as people get home, they forget, they'll call you the next day. So, and I try to post that on the Facebook event too, after the party, don't forget any back ordered items will come within 10 business days. Stop calling me. Cause they'll call you the like, they don't count weekends, but that's why we say business days. So they will call you on day, their day 10, which is really like your day six. And you're like, I still have four more days. Give me some time. Any current sales, thank you to everybody, not just the hostess. Thank you guys so much for coming out and supporting Sheila tonight. I hope you had a great time. Um, and then thank each guest individually when they come in to see you. So here's a little example of a script that you can use or tweak it and make your own. It's pretty awesome, but again, it is short. It's three paragraphs, but reading those out loud and saying them is gonna take no time at all. So I'll make sure you guys, again, have access to all of that after this call. Um, now I would like to talk to you about effective party games. Games, or we're calling them commercials now. Um, 
And the reason we're calling them commercials more for you as the consultant than the actual host is they don't really care um, what it's called. But games are negotiable, like whatever. Commercials are non-negotiable. And what I mean by that is like, when you're watching your favorite show or the Super Bowl, you will always be stuck with commercials, always. Because that's what pays for your show to be on the air. Um, commercials are gonna pay for your business to keep going, which sounds kind of silly, but I promise it's true. Because your commercials are gonna get you recruits and party bookings, and that's what's gonna keep your business going. So kind of think of it that way. If you're pressed for time, still play a booking, play a recruiting game. Always, always, always fit it in there. Make it happen. You can do it. So I'm going to show you guys on the COO, I'm getting it loaded now, where you can find examples of effective party games or effective party commercials. And if people like, if anyone's like, what are we doing? Be like, and now it's time for a quick commercial break. This party is brought to you by whatever game you're about to play. So let's do, here we go, share screen. Ah! You guys are familiar with this, it's awesome. If you go to training session, all about the party. Boom, and you'll see some games um, demonstrated in party school. So if you haven't watched party school, get on it. Get on it. Effective party, <laughs> excuse me. Effective party games are right here under the middle side at the party. So you just click on that. It's gonna open up. And there are four different types of games and commercials that you can do at a party. The first one is an icebreaker, and that is literally like, after you give your closing speech, you're gonna do this real quick so you can kind of gauge your crowd. I know you've been eavesdropping as they're coming in and they're talking, they're like, oh my God, Robert really wants me to buy the butt stuff. Oh my God, Jason can't believe that I'm here. <laughs> I'm gonna buy him butt stuff. Right, and so you're listening to what your customers are saying as they're coming in, you're staying out of the way. You're not, you're not really like, you're not ignoring them. You're not not engaging with them. But this is your time just to kind of like, see what's up. So the icebreaker game, it's really gonna help you. How are we already at 10 minutes? I'm so bad at this, staying on track. Sorry about it. Okay. Icebreakers are easy peasy. They should not take much time at all. I love the household chore game. That's a personal favorite because it gets people laughing. They're like, oh my God. Oh. So they're already kind of in the right mindset. And then um, I really like the business card one. And I'm not sure if that's listed here. I'm not going to break through each of these because you guys now know where, where you can find them. So you're going to make sure that you read up on them. Um, and my suggestion with any of these games is that you try one for four to six parties See if it works, and if it doesn't, then you just try another one. There's so many options. So if you're like, oh, I tried Deal or No Deal, and it just didn't work, I'm not going to play a game. No, girl, you got to find one that works for you. And what's great is that there's tons of games, but every game should serve a purpose. It should increase your sales, it should book you a party, or it should get you a team member or a referral. All right, so four. Boom. Increase your sales, book a party, get you a referral, or get you a new team member. Don't just be like, well, yeah, we're totally just gonna pass the double header dildo between our knees for absolutely no reason. If you play that game, I will haunt you. Because that doesn't get you anything and it makes people uncomfortable. So all these games that are here on this page are corporate approved and that's important because people used to play some raunchy ass games and while they were fun, they didn't serve a purpose and they make some people uncomfortable. And the worst thing you wanna do is make someone feel gross about being at your party, right? This is empowering, this isn't a gross thing. So an icebreaker game to get it started. A booking commercial to get more parties on your books, your goal should always be to at minimum replace the party that you're having. Um, so if you're at a party, book at least one party from that party to replace that so that you always have parties consistently on your schedule. You should always be thinking, I'm gonna book at least one party. If you're crazy, like me, you're gonna be like, I'm booking three parties tonight, it's happening. Uh, Cause everybody wants what I got, right? Everybody wants all this free stuff. The lay game's fun, the envelope game is fun, deal or no deal's good. Um, people like the balloon one, the pop your cherry one where they gotta like sit on a balloon. And you've tucked a little prize into the balloon, like a little, like a, a piece of paper that says coochie and you roll it up and stuck it in the balloon and then they pop it and they're like, oh my God, I'm getting coochie. Yay! 
And then sponsoring commercials, again, non-negotiable. You got to do one of these if you want to build your team. Rosie Romance is fun, especially if you get some fake money from Dollar Tree um, because people like seeing actual cash and it does, it shows them the math. It's not just like, I'm making so much money tonight. It's like, this is what you make in your work. Here's what you make with pure romance. Um, and when you have two women up there, like one's holding $3, one's holding $600, it's a good visual for them to be like, what? Ask me anything. I, this is the game that I do. Um, but now I'm doing the eight question game. So it's pretty much ask me anything except for it's structured. Cause I used to have people just to get a ticket. They're like, um, are your boobs real? What's your favorite color? What's your mom's maiden name? What's your social? And I'm like, ah, oh, you're stealing my identity. I know what you're up to. So the eight question game, I have eight questions pre-printed out on cards and I just tell people, I need eight volunteers, hand them all out. And then what's great is you follow up with four questions at the end of that for them. And then you get to kind of see where they're at. So I like that one a lot. And it takes all the guesswork out of it because if you know what questions they're asking you, you'll be prepared with the answers. Smarter, working smarter, not harder. That is what we're all about. Um, and then an income boosting commercial is going to help you make more money. So let's see if this, is this gonna like pull up, pull up? I don't know if it's gonna pull up into its own thing. Um, hostess foreplay is fun. That's a great way for you to start getting your girl to get you some outside orders. Uh, party squares, I know there's, the girls in Buffalo play, they do a raffle at every single party. And even if that, gets them like an extra $40 and someone wins a whole pot. That's $40 of like straight money that you received, which is pretty sweet. Um, raffle tickets, raffle tickets, bosom buddy, bring a friend, tic-tac-toe. So these are great games, commercials, boom. So keep that in mind as you are figuring out what to kind of spice up your stuff with. So again, make sure it serves a purpose, make sure it's gonna make you money in the long run, be it at another party, with higher sales, a new recruit, or a referral. Let's talk about effective discounts real quickly. You're a boutique. When you go and get your hair done, I know Sheila knows about this because you've got your cosmetology license. When you're like, I'm going to do all this stuff to your hair and we're going to like pump it up and I'm putting all this product in it. Do you want to go ahead and buy this stuff so you can replicate this at home? And you're like, yeah, can you cut me a deal? And your girl's like, mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> you're paying full price for all that like Redken stuff and you're like, ah, or the really expensive stuff. Um, so make sure your discounts are effective. The same thing. They're going to get you more sales. Don't just be like, you get 20% off everything because I'm crazy and I don't like to make money. No. Um, don't give away the whole store. Give discounts on a package or an experience. I'll don't just be like, oh my God, you're buying one thing. Yeah, I'm going to knock off shipping. Oh my God, I will kill you. Don't do it. So your package deals, if you buy, one of the things I do is if you buy the whole entire bath set, so escape, splash, coochie, body do, body soak and kiss, all six items, you're getting one for free. So buy five, get one free. Because chances are they're usually buying two, maybe three of those. If I can get them to commit to all six, I'm fine giving the bubble bath away at $16. I'm okay losing that. Um, because I got them to physically pay for two more. Yes. Um, one of the things I've started doing is your fifth item is 20% off because I noticed a lot of my girls stopped at four things. So when they stop at four things, I'm like, oh my God, your next item is 20% off. And I highlight, I highlight the fifth line with green. So this was an outside order I just got for body deal, but I highlight the fifth line in green on all my order forms. And they're like, what does that mean? Oh, your fifth item's on sale tonight. What did you want to get? And what's great is that half the time, because it's a last minute add on, they're adding like a coochie or a bosom buddy. They're not like the spotlight collection where I'm losing a ton of money on a really expensive item. If they ask, Oh, well, can I add one more thing? And then can my rendezvous be the one that's 20% off? Yes. I'm not going to be crazy about it because I want their money and I don't want to be like tripping over pennies because it's another sale. So I'm okay with that. Um, so don't give away the whole store. Make sure your discounts are smart. And there's a whole section on the COO about effective discounts. So do your homework on that. Um, that should be right here under the training section as well. Training all about the party. Pretty sure it's here. Maybe. 
I'm looking, hold on. Experience selling, yeah. So go to at the party experience selling in the shopping room and you'll get more information about that. Boom. Okay. So that's what we're gonna talk about tonight. Hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully you guys can start crafting your narratives about your stories. Um, try some new games, just try them. What, if you're coming to our meetings, and I know you guys kind of live far away, so you can't always come to our meetings, but a lot of meetings will play games so that you can see how they're done in person. So you're not just walking in like, well, I got all these tickets and I'm gonna start giving them away now. No, it's fun to see it. It's good, especially if it's something that like, um, this game worked really well for Christy. So she, I'm gonna let her show it off and tell us how to do it because she's making it work. She's getting all these people to book parties. Um, so show up to meetings, learn some new stuff. They do this at corporate trainings too. There's like at national training, there's usually a whole class on games, which is freaking awesome. And consultants are coming up with new games all the time. Destination, Destination Success page has a lot of great games on it as well. So here's your homework. We've got a minute and 21 seconds left. So pretty much when I'm done giving you your homework, what's gonna happen? I'm gonna shut this down. If you guys have any questions, just click back on the link in the event and we'll come up and we'll do our Q&A offline. So we won't record those tonight. Um, so your homework, should you choose to accept it, is to email me your opening and closing speeches before next week's call, just what you've written down, just your script, um, and prepare your 30-second commercial to share with the group next week. So your 30-second commercial can be found um, on the speeches, games, and discounts PDF or the handout that came in your kit. And this is what you're going to memorize and it's called your elevator speech. So when someone's like, oh my God, pure romance, what's that? You know exactly what to say without getting like diarrhea of the mouth. Yay, so thanks for a great night. Hopefully I'll see you guys real quick with a quick Q and A and then you guys can all go watch your Game of Thrones. All right, bye y'all.